This is the Giza Wires controller. We're going to turn it on. And here we're going to set the water temperature and adjust the day of the week. And then for the clock, we're going to adjust the hour and the minute. And then we're going to uh, set uh, the timers as well. Okay, to start off with, we always start with the set button. Okay, push that first of all so we can set the water temperature settings. Push it once, you'll see setting one comes up and the temperature is flashing. So you can push the up or down adjust buttons to adjust temp uh, setting one as is needed. Push it again for setting two, same applies. Setting three, the same applies. And setting four, the same applies. Now we adjust the day of the week. Push set again. Obviously, now we are not Monday to Friday, so we adjust the button to the desired day. Here we're going to set it for Monday, or you can adjust it down to Sunday or any day that it is. To adjust the clock now, you push set again, and you'll get to the hours of the clock, which you can adjust up or down. To get the minutes, push set, set again, and you can adjust this by pushing up or down. Now to set the timers, push set again and time setting number on, number one, you get to the hours and you can adjust this up or down. For the minutes you push set again, you can adjust it up or down. And so now to turn this time setting off, you push set again, it will go time setting one off and you do the same thing here for the hours up or down. For the minutes up or down. And this applies through all four time settings. So we'll go through them. Each one, time setting two, hours and minutes on, time setting two, hours and minutes off. And here we go through time setting three, and then eventually time setting four. Now to set the time settings for the weekend, to go through the same principle. Uh, for Saturday, Sunday, time setting on, just up or down. For the hours, for the minutes, you adjust up or down. Time setting one off for the min for the hours, up or down. For the minutes, up or down. And then uh, we're going to go through it again until we get to the main menu. Okay, so that is pretty much how you would set a geezer wise timer. Now just for your own information, when you, if you would like to turn manual power on, you can push this power button and you'll see the three red flames come up. If you want to turn it off, you push it off and it goes off. If you leave it on, it will turn off automatically when it has reached the desired temperature. Also, you will notice when it is during a time setting period, these uh, three flames will go on when the element is on, but when it is in the time setting period and the element is not on, then these three flames will flash. You should now know everything you need to know about the geezer wires controller, well everything that you need to set it. So hopefully I helped you.